Hi everyone! My name is Alex from Jensen Lakes at the St. Albert Public Library and welcome to today's STEAM challenge. So it's getting colder out and that's got me thinking about snow and ice. Have you ever seen an ice sculpture? Now that we're heading into winter, there are actually competitions that take place where people make ice sculptures and some of them are huge and beautiful. Pretty cool, hey? Once we have some snow on the ground, you could actually make one yourself outside. But today we're going to make miniature ice sculptures right here in your kitchen. This one requires a little bit of prep because we need to start by making ice. So you're going to fill up some containers of different shapes and sizes, maybe with some help from your grown up, and then set them in the freezer overnight. And then tomorrow you can make your sculpture. I'll also go through some of the other supplies that we're going to need. So you're going to need some salt in a small bowl, maybe with a spoon. I'm using table salt, but if you have a coarser salt, you could try that too. You're going to need some food coloring. And I've put my food coloring already in my glasses. I've just put about 10 drops mixed with some water. And then I have some spoons there. And I also have some eyedroppers that I can use. Uh, and then you're going to also want some paint brushes and a bowl of water. So I'm going to be right back with my ice. See you guys soon. Okay, so now that we have our ice, we're ready to have some fun. So you can see that I emptied my ice onto a rimmed baking sheet. There is going to be some melting and some water, so things are going to get a little bit messy, but that's part of the fun. But you might want to use a baking sheet and even a tablecloth underneath just to be safe. So we're going to start with putting some colors on our ice and, ooh, that's cold, and stacking it and also using salt. Remember I said we needed salt? Do you know why? Well, did you know that salt melts ice? That's why we put it on the roads and sidewalks in the winter. So ice usually forms when water gets to zero degrees Celsius, but salt lowers the freezing point of ice, which basically means that it has to be even colder for the ice to form. So it'll melt faster if we add ice to it. So since we're doing this experiment inside, the ice is going to melt anyway, but the ice with salt on it is going to melt even faster because it doesn't have to get as warm as the ice without salt. So that's one of the fun things about this experiment is testing out, adding some salt and seeing what happens. And you're gonna need some salt and a little bit of water too. So I just sprinkled some salt on my big ice cube here and I'm gonna add some water into it. And just, I'm gonna just see what happens. Oh, and I can hear it cracking already. So it's starting to work. And so as the salty parts of the ice melt, you're gonna get different ravines and crevices and tunnels in your ice. Um, so it's gonna really allow you to make your sculpture really unique. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt, kind of, oops, just kind of wherever. You can just have some fun with this. Oh, can you hear it cracking? It's already speeding up the process. And then I might add just some water. I'm using a foam brush here, but you could use whatever kind of paintbrush you have. And I'm gonna kind of spread my salt around and see what happens and let it work its magic. And it's really melting these little guys fast. And then I might try kind of stacking my pieces. So I'm gonna maybe add like a little bit of water to try to get them to stick together. I'm going to try to stack so I can get a sculpture going. And this is just, you know, you can have fun with this. You can just make whatever you feel like making. So I'm going to add some little pieces here. And now I want to add some color. So let's try using my eyedropper. And I'll add some green. So you could try using an eyedropper. You could also use a spoon. And you know what? My color is not that bright, so I'm going to add just a little bit more of my food coloring here. And we'll try it. We'll go with green again. 
So you can kind of just experiment with this. You can see what, what works. So you could add food coloring even directly onto the ice. Maybe let's give that a try. So let's just see what happens. Oh yeah, that's a much more kind of brilliant color. That's cool. And I can see where I added the salt. It's really, that's really neat. Okay, so we added some green. The other fun thing about this experiment is you can do some color mixing. So food coloring, I have my four colors. I have yellow, red, blue, and green. I'm gonna add some blue to this one. And, um, you know, let's say I wanna make purple. Do you know which colors I have to mix to make purple? It's red and blue. So you can kind of play around and see Oh, let's try that. And as you go, it's going to just be, you're going to just create a beautiful, colorful ice sculpture. Let's add some yellow. And you can see where the salt touched, how it much more like this ice cube has melted here, for example. Let's make some yellow and red. Ooh, that red is cool. Yellow and red make orange. I'm gonna put just some red right on there. And let's try adding one of my kind of water ones to see if I can make some orange. Oh yeah, I'm getting some orange there. Kind of running up down the side. That is very neat. All right, I'm gonna turn my sculpture so I can work on this other side. And let's start by adding some blue. I'm gonna make some blue here, maybe up here a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some of my more watered down red on top. Cause this seems to be a good way to do some color mixing. And, oh, I'm getting some purple showing up. That's really neat. Add some more of that. And I feel like I wanna add a little bit more salt too on this side. See if we can get some more melt going. Oh, and you can see as soon as the salt kind of touches the edge, what it does, it's kind of already making that ice melt faster. And as soon as you put the, I, the salt on, you can hear it cracking. It's really neat. So you can just kind of have fun with this. So I made this, you know, little sculpture here, but I can, well, maybe I should put some stacks and things on top and you can try and make the tallest sculpture that you can. You could try and make a building or an animal or whatever you want. You can kind of, the sky's the limit, so. This is our ice sculpture experiment. So I'm gonna keep playing around with my colors and I hope you guys have some fun making your ice sculpture. Um, if you do create an ice sculpture, we'd love to see it. So you can send an email to jsapl at sapl.ca. Um, and if you liked this activity, you can visit our YouTube channels for some more STEAM challenges. And be sure to check out our website, sapl.ca for more online programming. I hope you guys like the experiment, and when it gets cold outside, remember, you can build your own ice sculptures even outside. Maybe take the food coloring outside, and that would be a really fun way to do your ice sculptures as well. Okay, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye.